Dr. Katoy, here we are. Yesterday was the closing of the IOTA conference. Um, we're here at the Monastery of St. Nicholas at Meteora. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> this is my first time at Meteora. This is really an extraordinary place, and I'm really glad to be here with you know, all these people today. You know, I am, I am a little bit of an outsider, you mm. know, because you know, I am a Roman Catholic. I grew up in Italy, but uh, I've been studying Orthodox theology and the Greek fathers for almost 20 years. Wow. And uh, in a way, you know, coming to a place like that, you really see, you know, the tradition of the fathers really come alive. Mm. You see that it's not something which is just in the books, but it's something that is actually lived even Absolutely. today. Oh, one of your scholarly disciplines is, is dialogue between Buddhism and, and Eastern Christianity. Um, tell us a little bit about how that discipline fit or was fed by the sessions at IOTA. Oh, well, you know, there weren't a lot of comparative sessions here at IOTA, but, you know, I was very intrigued by attending all these different sessions that talk about, uh, you know, different modes of prayer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the development of the spiritual tradition in the Eastern Orthodox Church and the fact that the tradition is actually still very much alive in Greece and in many other Eastern European countries. Right. So it was great to actually hear a lot of scholars from many countries, from, from Greece, from Eastern Europe that not necessarily come to the United States. So you know, they give you a very different perspective. I wonder then, you know, coming from the Catholic tradition, how do you see IOTA continuing to sort of foster, um, foster this ecumenical uh, framework in the future? Oh, I'm sure, you know, that IOTA is going to, you know, play a very important role in ecumenical relations. You know, I, I saw that there are actually quite a few Catholic uh, theologians and also theologians from other churches mm. attending the conference. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of sessions that talked about the ecumenical relations between the Catholic and the Orthodox churches. Right. So I'm sure this can only just improve and grow in the future as the conference hopefully yeah. continues. You That's know. wonderful. Um, any particular memories you'll be taking home? Any particular memories? Uh, oh, the multilingual liturgy. You yeah. know, it was very really oh, interesting, yeah. you know, hearing, you know, especially the first evening, you know, there were parts of the liturgy that were chanted in French parts that were chanted in English, you know, it sort of really gave you an idea of the fact that even the Orthodox Church is also a universal church. Right, right. Well, Dr. Katoy, thank you so very much for sharing. Okay, thank you. Thank you.